Welcome back to another episode guys. As always, I appreciate you. I'm out at Rotary Park today. I'm gonna to be fishing out in the kayak. The plan today is I'm gonna throw the Warhawk lure swim baits again, some BPF lures on Instagram, some hand painted crankbaits that he makes. That's Bob over at BP Fishing on YouTube. And of course, the, the tech baits on Instagram. Unfortunately guys, the wind is howling again today. Another 18 to 20 uh, mile an hour winds with the 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts. So hopefully, you know what? I, hopefully you guys could hear me okay through the wind. If not, I'm just gonna put music over it. Now let's go stick my PB. Well, I'm an hour in. I've only been bit once on that little beaver from Tech Baits. I just scrapped this whole area that I'm sitting in right now. I see no structure, but I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna throw the swim bait for a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. Hey, I want to make a suggestion to you. Um, any kayakers out there? I've been literally sitting on this point in this wind and I've been using this little pole. It's called the super stick. I got the eight foot pole and man, it has definitely kept me in position. So much easier than an anchor, of course, you know, all on the depth. I don't know if they have a website or what i literally ordered it just searching amazon so if you guys want to check them out for any kayakers it's the super stick actually there you go there's the website the superstick.com okay guys what i'm doing now i found like a little drop off it's a little rocky a few bushes on it so i put the the pole down and we're just gonna work it with the with the beaver for a little while. See what happens. Finally, guys. Feels like a decent one. Sweet, broke the barrier. the tech baits just a little bass but hey man we'll take it damn he's a heavy guy he's pretty fat it's a good fish right there right in the snoot russ right in the snoot damn look how fat this little guy is Look at that, right in the snoot. Just like Rush Forest Outdoors says, right in the snoot on the Tech Baits Beaver. Let's get the release. He gone. Hey guys, that last fish, man. You know, since I'm working slow, I don't keep the camera on. You know, then uh, when I get bit, I'll, I'll I'll turn it back on man that fish he didn't bite it he just literally ripped the freaking rod out of my hand so I had to fumble real quick to get the cameras on so you guys could all see it I was hoping I didn't jack it up or mess it up man so it's like it's hard to keep the camera rolling when you're like working slow you know I don't want to go through hours of footage i don't like using the looping feature so plus it saves on battery all right man i'm back out there on the second cast after that fish on that little ledge hopefully this is the money spot we'll see i'm sitting in about five foot of water and i'm casting anywhere from eight eight to thirteen feet and once again, the water is 65 degrees. All right, all. I switched it up. I'm so honored. I have such awesome friends, man. This little plastic is made from my buddies over at Beyond Limits Fishing on Instagram. My buddy Tom. 
so look how epic these are very pretty <laughs> very pretty they're very sparkly ah whatever you know what i mean so i'll leave a beyond limits fishing link in my description down below hopefully we get bit Beyond Limits fishing a uh, beaver. Hey, it's a little guy, man, but it's a fish. Beyond Limits fishing beaver. Boom. The realist. Freaking little guy. It's a good sign though. It's a good sign. Sweet. 